Hey everybody, welcome back to my page, Hot Mess Express Tutorials. Today we're going to be doing this look right here with some tips and tricks on doing some thick eyeliner as well as a crazy blue lip. Also, I started using my monitor for this video, so if my eyes look a little like shifty, it's just because I'm a little vain and I'm looking at myself in the monitor. But I tried to stay focused on the camera. Also, this video I filmed all by myself with the monitor. And I didn't have any crew, so hopefully this turned out okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hashtag fresh face. So today we're gonna be starting with our eyes. And we're gonna obviously go in with our primer. We're gonna prime our eyes up. Pat that in. Great. I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette today to achieve these orange eyes. Now, I found out, well I guess I didn't find out, but I forgot and then realized again that all of these colors have names. And when I did my Ode to Jaclyn Hill video, I didn't say the name, so I totally forgot about it. I'm gonna look online today and figure out what the names are. I have my cheat sheet ready. We're gonna start with the color Pooter. I feel really uncomfortable with the name of that. I also forgot my small mirror today, so I'm gonna be using my phone. Some of my technology upgraded today and some of my technology downgraded today, even though I'm using technology to do this. Here's my crease. So if you look, and you're gonna just put the color inside the crease, you can see it, there you go. And you wanna go just like a little bit above. I'm using a really light hand. I just want this to be super light. This one I wanna go a little bit above because this is my hooded side. So if we go a little bit above, see, now you can see it, just started above. If I just go in right here, you can't see anything. So you wanna go just a little bit above. Next, we're gonna use the same brush and we're gonna go in with the color Butter. Once again, just light circles, deepening the color up. And let me tell you, these eyeshadows are like butter. Next, I'm gonna go in with a more concentrated brush. Oh, this is still wet. Oh, and it's still a soap in it. Some of these I cleaned a couple hours ago, like, six hours ago, some of these I cleaned like three hours ago. I'm gonna use this brush. I really hope that it's not blurry. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see. The bristles are closer together, so I think it will give it more of a precise look. Oh, and I'm going in with the color Pukey. This one I'm pressing a little bit harder. You can see the pigment is definitely showing up more. And when you're Putting the color on, like don't be afraid to go up really high, close to your eyebrows because you can always just blend it out. So look, if you see, I just put it right in my crease and all of that color. You can't see any of it because of my hood, so you have to go above. And now, like I said, you can blend out the top and just give it more of a blended out look. Just use the little circles again. This one also, you can also just go back and forth. Just like, oh, come on, there's. I think that also works too. You know, cheer your face on. Next, I'm going to take a flat head brush and pat down the color creamsicle. And just dab it in and bring it out. And you dab it first. That's when it gets the most amount of pigment instead of just doing like this. Then I'm just going to blend these. Right here, just make sure it looks smooth. And then lastly, just to make this a little bit more dramatic, I'm gonna put in a darker color. In the outer corner, we're gonna mix together mocha and chip. And just dab, dab, dab. I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and blend out the sides. You know how they have the phrase baking? I'm like mixing over here. Spin, spin, spin. And I know right here it kind of looks a little, but it's okay, it can be cleaned up with makeup remover or covered up with your foundation. So we're not gonna worry about it right now. Hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. Now it's time for the moment that I've been really, really nervous and really, really excited about. We're gonna do the thick eyeliner with the Mary Kay Gel Eyeliner. 
and I'm gonna scoot you guys in a little bit closer. The number one, number one rule about putting gel eyeliner or any eyeliner at all is patience. You have to be so, so patient, go slow. I know that you wanna get done. This is like the thing that I have to work on the hardest because I'm just like, all right, I just want this to look beautiful and be perfect and I don't have time for this. But we're gonna work on that today. Just take some deep breath. I'm gonna start with this really tiny angled brush. So thin, really small. Those are describing factors of this brush. So, and then I'm gonna dip it into the gel eyeliner. You don't need too much, okay? And then you wanna work fast to getting it to your eye. You don't want the gel to dry out. But once it's on your eye, little sections at a time. And then go across the light stroke. And we're just gonna start with a thin line and then build from there, but I just like to get that line across so I know what I'm working with. <laughs> then you're going to outline where you want your wing to be. This angled brush is great because it kind of just like stamps it on for you. So I'm gonna start at my lower lash line. Just kind of stamp that on and go up there. I made it really long because we're gonna make it super thick. You want it not at the very top, but like almost, and then you're gonna go back down. And I've kind of just put some pressure on this to show you guys it's gonna be a little bit thicker at the top. But so then you'll still have a little bit of a line. And you can take more and fill that in. And we're starting with my not so hooded eye, so it's gonna be a little bit trickier on this side. I feel like I always talk about how my eyes are hooded and then I just cut it out. Then you can make your lash line a little bit thicker. And this time you want the point of the brush facing towards your nose. All the way down into like where my eye socket is. <laughs> I think that we have one side completely achieved. Holy wow. I don't know if this has been helping, but to get the Eyeliner kind of like warm so it's easier to dip into. I've been putting my hand over top just like this for a little bit, like a couple seconds, just so that it gets like warm and it's easier to dip the eyeliner in. I don't know if that's actually helping, but I'm telling myself that it is. Okay, now let's do our stamp. That's, that's just about even, right? This is the important part about hooded eyes. So you're not gonna go just straight diagonally down because that's gonna not look as good. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start to go until you see your crease. So you're gonna go diagonal into your crease and then 90 degree down. Okay, I hit my crease. Down, see? So it kind of has that triangle, triangular, look and we're gonna color in the line so if you see when I open my eyes it now looks like a straight line whereas if I just did a straight line the whole time it would just be a big blob in the corner of my eye and then I'm gonna attach it just a little bit on the bottom so I attached it just a little bit on the bottom not attaching the top part of the triangle to the bottom and that's how you get your thick liner on both sides. To set this black gel, I'm just gonna go over it with some black eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette in the color Abyss. Just so that it doesn't move around, get toast all over the eye. Then over top of this, just to give it a little bit of extra oomph, I'm gonna go in with the Mary Kay Dramatic Gold Gel Eyeliner. So it's pretty cool, lift that up. And then this part comes out and it's a little fresh. Just the gold color. And we're gonna put it right over top. And this will cover up any weird lines. Okay, like that. So when I make two thicks, so I'm gonna have to go over it with the black again. Now that's even out a little bit better, I'm gonna turn the camera off and just put the rest of my makeup on and we'll come back when it's time to do the lips. Okay, so I added a lot of the face things, but then I realized that there were still some more eye things that I forgot about. 
So we're gonna go in with some bottom eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon in Wavelength. And this is a blue color. It's gonna go with our blue lips. I also like this has like a little bit of a purple tint because I think that the lip color that we're using also has like a little bit of a purple tint too. Now we're gonna go back into the palette and use the color Twerk. Oh, and it's been so long of filming, I'm gonna go back in with this brush, brush that's now dry, and use the color Silk Cream. And this is just gonna blend it out. It's gonna go right underneath. Then I'm gonna take my favorite little brush right here and go in with the color Queen. I'm just gonna put it on the inner corner of my eye and on my brow bone. Now we can move on to my favorite part of the makeup process, which is lips. We're gonna start off with Kat Von D in Echo. This color right here. Okay, so here is our first layer of lipstick. Then we're gonna go in with Ofra's blue, light blue color in Maui. And we're just gonna put that in the center. And just dab, dab, dab to lighten it up. I get some more right there. Last but not least, let's put some setting spray on this face. Okay guys, so this is our final look. Do we like it? How are you feeling? Comment down below. Hopefully this was helpful to achieving a thicker line. My motto is that we're figuring this out together, so I think I figured it out a little bit today. If you have any tips or tricks for putting on your eyeliner, you can comment down below uh, to help everyone else out. Tell me if you try this cool blue lipstick look out because I am totally in love with it. Okay guys, so this is the end of our video, so if you like this video, you can like, comment, subscribe, and share this to a friend. Also, you can follow me on social media. That's Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And my Hot Mess Express tip of the day is to try something new. So if these blue lips are kind of intimidating to you, just try it out in your house and see how it feels. Just show it to your loved one. If anything, you can just take it off with makeup remover. All right guys, I hope that you had fun watching this. I'll see you next time, bye.